Hey guys, and welcome to Wrestling Days. So this is a really important video, a real special video, because we're actually gonna have a look at the figure collection behind me. Uh, it's the video that gets requested the most. I've wanted to try and build up the collection so that there was something worth showing you guys. Um, and I think it's in an all right place. Um, I think what's exciting about it is that it's it's just still growing all the time. Um, you know, I, I had a few figures before I started the channel, and uh, I've been reviewing more and more, and now it's it's grown. Um, but it will continue to grow. Um, this very much is the start of the collection. It's brilliant that you can uh, you know be there really as it as it starts to to grow. So uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look and see what we've got. So starting at the very very top. Um, at the moment, currently working through uh, this, um, which is the Then, Now, Forever. Um, and I can tell you that it's very difficult to hold it and show it, but as you can see, I've got absolutely loads of these cards. It's, it's there or thereabouts, but I don't want to do a video on it until it's finished, so hence why it's at the top here. Also we've got the box for the uh, Elimination Chamber. Uh, this is the um, Winged Eagle Belt and then there's a couple of boxes there for the 2K Special Editions. So, oh, drop that one. That's the Hulk Hogan uh, Special Edition. It came with the pop vinyl inside which uh, should be on that shelf somewhere. Uh, that's what that's what was in the box. Um, it was really good, actually. This I should really do a video, separate video on this because it actually came with a bit of ring from uh, a Raw episode that uh, Hogan was on. Actually, let's go down here. Is that still in? I think this is still in there. Yeah, look at that piece of history. March 10th, 2014, there's the bit of ring there, and uh, it says this collectible contains an actual piece of canvas from Hulk Hogan's raw appearance on March 10th, 2014. What makes that even more special is the fact that I think that was the episode um, where Daniel Bryan occupies raw, and he gets uh, all the fans in the ring, if you remember that. Um, came with pop vinyl as well, look. Hollywood's uh, Hogan pop vinyl, which I know is on the shelf, so tell you what, pop that there. That was the other one, that was this year's 2K16. Um, you, That's what you got inside this one, Let's see if I can find the light, there's the light. So uh, you get the then, now, forever trading cards. That's how I got into them, actually. And you get an exclusive uh, 2K316 uh, pop vinyl as well. A few of the bits and bobs in there. So pop that down there. So that's what's at the very top. Then we've got the pop vinyl collection. There's that um, Hulk Hogan, Hollywood Hogan. And then uh, there's a few still in boxes waiting to be looked and uh, reviewed, basically. Ric Flair... Um, we've got Rock and Sheamus, Sting, got the Bellas, Triple H, Ultimate Warrior still waiting to be looked at, Macho Man, Andre the Giant, John Cena, Daniel Bryan, Brock Lesnar, a couple of Rey Mysterios. I think that was a San Diego Comic Con Rey Mysterio. Uh, Undertaker, uh, Steve Austin, um... Steve Austin is that? I think that is the 2K Steve Austin. Yeah, there you go. Look, 2K316. That's the only difference. It just has it printed on it. Uh, oh, I'm knocking Undertaker over. Dead man down, dead man down. Right, um, AJ Lee and then the, the Hulk Hogan's there. And then those are from the uh, Then Now Forever, which if you've watched those videos, you'll know why those cards are in there but let's have a look at the Mattel ones things to show you on this um, I, I, I didn't want to hide any figures I wanted to display them so someone has commented before I think this shelf shows it off better I have actually used uh, elite boxes behind so there's a row of elite boxes and then that gives me another level to display figures on and then on that level 
there's another row of boxes as well and then that gives me another level to display the figures on so as you can see they're actually standing on old uh, elite boxes I'm toying with the idea actually of putting in another level so you can see there's three levels there that one that one and then that one at the back I'm I'm wondering if I could get a fourth in um, so that's kind of my project at the moment to decorate it I've got my spare uh, cards from the then now forever which I've stuck on the back so I've got NXT over here you can see like likes of Hideo Itami Corey Graves don't know if you can see Finn Balor uh, I know the lights not brilliant but Finn Balor's there um, and then I've got like divas I've got like kind of special cards and then superstars uh, I've done the same on the backs of here as well as you can see NXT over there and so um, I'm, I'm looking to do that actually with the whole thing so ideally I'd like figures on every single shelf uh, but it's just going to take uh, a bit of time so uh, we've looked at the pop vinyl shelf um, we've seen those guys so looking at the Mattel figures now uh, one of my favorites maybe my favorite figure uh, that British Bulldog uh, Elite that was recently out this is the uh, Legends shelf. This is for stars that aren't in it anymore. So we've got Bulldog, Earthquake, uh, Ricky the Dragon Basic there, which I absolutely love. Uh, Defining Moments, Hogan, the NWO guys. Um, we've got Triple H there with uh, one of the belts that came with Steve Austin. Um, we've got X-Pac, got Diamond Dallas Page and Sting. Couple of stings there because there's that great new defining moments uh, sting. There's uh, the new defining moments Austin. He's got one of the titles, and as we said, Hunter's got one of the other ones. And I think I've got uh, yeah one of them on Undertaker at the moment. Got Daniel Bryan, uh, and his he came with two bouts. The other one uh, I've given to Sting, which I just think looks awesome. Um, so I recommend doing that if you've got those figures. Defining Moments, Razor Ramon, Elite One Two Three Kid, Elite um, Rey Mysterio with the Cruiserweight title. That is a, I think it's a ringside, I think it's ringside uh, collectibles exclusive debut John Cena. Uh, comes with two titles. We've got uh, Junkyard Dog there, uh, Elite. And then we've got Sid. Psycho Sid, basic uh, Paul Orndorff, basic Mr. Perfect, that fantastic Terry Funk. And what makes it fantastic is that ECW title that it comes with. Um, you could only get that with a, uh, a very rare CM Punk figure. So uh, if, if you get a chance to get that, it's worth doing because that is a really hard belt to find. That is, I think, a ringside exclusive as well. It is the Brahma Bull uh, Rock, and he comes with a old version of the IC title. He also comes with that ladder accessory that's hiding in the background. Bruno Sammartino, awesome, comes with a Hall of Fame plaque and uh, stand there, which is wicked. And uh, Bad News Barrett, who uh, obviously has just left the business. So that is the Legends shelf. And obviously what makes it up in the middle is that brilliant shield pack, uh, which uh, really is the centerpiece of that shelf. So that is the Legends shelf. Moving down, we've got uh, the kind of current roster, which is a little thinner. Um, we've got Cesaro, who comes with that Andre... Um, trophy we've got Stardust and Goldust um, with the tag titles we've got the Miz got Ryback we've got that fantastic new basic Seth Rollins I think series 60 basic um, that was the elite Seth Rollins which I just think is awful but that is so much better face scans better um, and I think like the touches of Gold on the ring attire just really makes it a, a must-have. Divas, Sasha, Lita, Paige, Trish with the women's title, AJ with the Divas, we've got Lana, and then at the front we've got Natalia. You can see Renee Young, uh, Bailey with the NXT belt. Um, 
and we've got Steph. That NXT title came with the page figure, um, as did that Divas title. Um, but I've just given it to those guys instead. Um, got Rusev. We've got Jericho with the jacket, which I absolutely love. That's a Series 20 Elite. We've got Tyler Breeze. We've got, oh, I love this figure. Zack Ryder, right? I got it off the internet, so he's missing the glasses. That's the only thing that annoys me. But um, comes with the internet championship title. Absolutely love that title. Um, love that figure. Brock Lesnar, that's the WrestleMania one. Comes with the undisputed title. And then uh, you've got that Brock Lesnar that came with the WWE title. But I've got Kevin Owens holding that, as he should be. Uh, that's the basic Owens with the uh, WWE title. Got Undertaker, as we saw, with the Winged Eagle. That's uh, Dolph Ziggler with the Intercontinental from a recent Elite series. Bray Wyatt Elite, which I just think is absolutely brilliant. I love that Bray Wyatt figure. Uh, Sami Zayn uh, with the NXT belt. Finn Balor, honestly one of the best figures I've got. The detail on that is just tough the charts. Uh, Dean Ambrose, recent figure as well. So um, I think I probably need to get a few more of the current roster to really fill out that shelf. Um, because I think there's a lot of space there that I can fill that out. I think the Legends shelf is pretty rammed, but I can always use the shelf above and then maybe move the Pop Vinyls onto the very, very top. Um, because the other shelves, and you never really see this low, but these are all the figures that I'm waiting to review. So got a battle pack here of uh, Jack Swagger and Zeb Coulter. Got Boss Man. Uh, some of these are empty boxes that I'm saving so I can do the displays on the other shelves. Uh, I think they might all be empty, 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 empty. Oh, who's that? Ravishing Rick Rude. So we've got Rick Rude, we've got Boss Man. We've got this really smart Billy Gunn as well, look at that. Um, which I got from Birmingham Conic Con. I got that because he's got the DX top on and uh, got um, those guys there, look, with the DX top. So hopefully be able to get there we go, maybe I'll have to get him stood next to those guys eventually. So he's there. Primetime players we've got, and then as you can see, we've got Yokozuna, Ultimate Warrior, Tito Santana, Junkyard Dog we've done recently, Bad News we've done recently. Got this Vicky and Dolph, which is really smart. Um, Diamond Dallas uh, should have gone on recently. Got Godfather to do, we've got Farouk to do. We've got quite a few basics here as well. Um, bits and bobs there. Uh, Honky Tonk Man, I think, on top. I think it was like two pounds. I think we've got Xavier Woods as well there. Yeah, we've got Xavier Woods. Who's that? Our truth that's a really cool Our truth figure. In fact, let's have a look at them. Got Our truth got Honky. We've got... Xavier, look at that, Heath Slater, £5, I think that was um, Smith, uh, we've got Hideo, again £5, I think that was the free John Cena we got recently, uh, we've got the great Carly, cool, this was an expensive figure. This cost me about £30 to get that belt. Um, it's a winged eagle, but it's like a soft winged eagle. Um, I think I kind of overpaid on it, but I'm all right with it. Um, so we've got that. We've got Naomi. And we got Tyson Kid. And then at the bottom, we've just got a few uh, magazines. Um, I think it's just I think it's a few music magazines in there actually I need to tidy that out but we've got the encyclopedia uh, which I refer to quite a bit and then we've got a load of like tagged classics um, books and things I've got loads more of these at home I've got I think I'm pretty close to having the full collection but it's basically two pay-per-views in one set so there's an example of backlash 2001 judgment day 2001 um, these were released in the UK but yeah I've got a set of those there so that's all the stuff, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed just having a look through that and seeing, you know, look at that mess there, uh, seeing all the stuff that we've got to review. 
Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at Wrestling Days UK. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, it'd be brilliant if you did because, as you can see, we've got loads of stuff to review. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.